Welcome to Excellence in Excel. I'm Nick Wong and in this video we're going to solve one of the key common requests for most people. So imagine you have here this large data sheet and what you want to do is you want to freeze columns but you also want to freeze the rows and it's together that becomes an issue because right now if you just click here on the view we have an issue here if you click on freeze freeze the top row it will freeze only the top row and if you then click on freeze the first column what happens is the column will be frozen but the top row frozen effect is gone so it removes the top row freezing but it adds a column freezing as you can see here so that is not what we want so we want to have both however and this is also another one is we don't want well we have this information here but we want to freeze these three rows secondly we want to freeze these two columns as well because this information is important we need to know the id but more importantly we are very interested in the company name and we don't want to delete this information because this is very important or we don't want to move that even we don't want to touch or adjust the database because it doesn't make sense to adjust the database for this situation so what we can do is very very simple first of all I click here on unfreeze panes once you click that all the frozen effect is gone so you can see here it's gone and if you scroll down see it freezes nothing then what we have to do is we have to select the location what we want to freeze based on columns and rows so if we we select the the option let's say this one because basically what we want we want to keep these three this three should be frozen and these two should be frozen as well so where should it start or where should the scrolling effect work starting from here so we have everything before row number four so that means one two and three will be frozen and everything before column c so column A and B are frozen. That's exactly what we want. Let's click on this and then what happened? You can see now something is happening. There are some movements and you can see like there are some lines here. Here and here you see new lines. And this is exactly what we need. So if we now move to the location, you can see now column A and B are frozen. And if we scroll down, you can see as well column 1, 2 and row, col row 1, 2 and 3 are frozen as well and so you can see you can get easily the information you need and we can go very far or back to the beginning and this is how you can do it and if you would like to change that as well so well this is interesting I want to remove this because I don't need this or I, I need I need to freeze this as well how to do that click here on unfreeze panes once you do that you can see that all the frozen effect has been gone and has been removed and let's say you want to keep the city name as well because that's important information for you so you can start here once you do that basically it means everything starting before row 4 so that is 1 2 and 3 will be frozen and before column D so A B and C are frozen let's click on this and now you see it will be frozen as well you can see now if you scroll down city maintains if you move here you can see the city maintains and the uh, it still maintains on row number three exactly what we need and this is really how you can do this this is a very useful tool especially if you want to quickly analyze data once you want to remove it unfreeze paints and there you are so if you like tips and tricks about excel check out the link below in there you can find a wonderful excel course to improve your skills